Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and as you'll notice I've already got our cup painted. I'm using a 30 straight from AB Designs. I believe the red spray paint was Candy Apple Red from Rustoleum. The beautiful red glitter that I'm using is Flame which is a metallic fine from AB Designs. Once I'm pretty confident that I have full coverage of this glitter I then will go ahead and remove the portion of the tape that's on the front of this tumbler. Once I do that, I want to make sure that I use the clear seal from Rust-Oleum to seal in this red glitter before moving on to the next step. Make sure you don't forget the bottom of your tumbler and then you're going to want to tap off any and all excess from the glitter. Okay, once we have sealed that red and it's completely dry, we're ready to go ahead and move on to using the white glitter, which I've chosen similar, which is an iridescent fine from AB Designs. For this step, I am gonna go ahead and use Mod Podge to apply my glitter. So once we've applied all of the similar glitter onto the tumbler, we're going to make sure that we remove all of that excess glitter that you see onto the red before we seal. Once I seal all of this glitter, I will allow this to dry for at least 20 to 30 minutes before moving on to this coat of epoxy. For this coat of epoxy, I am going to be using Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. And if you look really closely, you will not you will notice that the red glitter is not contaminating the white. That means you've sealed it really well. Make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. And allow this tumbler to sit for at least three to four hours before moving on to the next step. So I'm going to be using this really pretty holographic nail tape from AB Designs. It comes in one, two, and three millimeters. This holographic nail tape is absolutely perfect for this tumbler. You can literally see the red, the green, the yellow, the gold. It was absolutely perfect for any type of Christmas tumblers you guys might want to do. So while I go ahead and do the trim, I want to go ahead and mention that decal. I did it all out of vinyl, cut everything out, placed it onto the tumbler, and I did not like it. So off camera, I ultimately removed all of that off, cleaned up that space, and reapplied a different decal. I promise that I will go into that in the upcoming clip. Unfortunately, I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so I am so sorry, but I definitely will try to go into as much detail as I can. I really hope that you are enjoying this video so far, and if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon. And don't forget to click the bell for notifications. So here is the decal that I was telling you about previously. It's actually Cricut printable clear sticker paper. Uh, people use these to tag their um, boxes going out the door or their packages that they're mailing out. And I really wanted to give this a try because I've never used this stuff on a tumbler before. I will tell you it will bleed. So it's very, very important that you seal this. Now I did not have Rust-Oleum, so I used Krylon Clear to seal in this printable sticker paper, which actually worked out really well. But if you do not seal it, it's going to bleed. And I'm going to show you an example here in just a second. So if ever you're in a pinch and you don't want to use vinyl to make your design happen, this actually worked really well. I was really happy with it. The only thing I will say is I was not 100% sure if those lines were going to show. 
So I decided to use the one millimeter holographic, which is the same as I used for the sides, to go ahead and frame in this decal in order to, well, enhance it a little bit. So here's that example, as I was telling you earlier, that if you do not seal this, it's going to bleed. So once you're happy with your designing and it's completed, make sure you seal this entire tumbler, allow that to dry for a good 20 to 30 minutes, and then we can move on to our next coat of epoxy. So for this coat of epoxy, I'm gonna be using Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. And I'm also gonna add in a couple of pinches of Glorious, which is a beautiful glitter additive from AB Designs to give our cup an overall sparkle. This tumbler only took one more final coat of epoxy and it was completed. Don't forget after each coat of epoxy that you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. So now it's on to the topper. This is the fun part. And as you can see, I've already done my mold as well as added both the magnets within the mold. I've shown this in previous videos, so I'll be more than happy to link those down for you below so you can check those out. Now it's time to decorate. I've got this fake ice. I've got the smallest elf on the planet. I've got his little bucket that I put mine on as well with a couple of beers that I wrote elf beer. Um, I actually cut that using the Cricut and vinyl and applied that right on there super easy. And he has a little mug as well. So off camera, I also added the magnets to the lid. I've never shown you how I pop this off. And I wanna say this is actually the very first time I've ever broken one, um, but it's okay because we never use it. It never goes back, um, but you just pop your scissors in there, give it a pop, try not to break it. Um, but if it breaks, it breaks. Some are way easier and some are a little bit more difficult. You just wanna pop them out. let me show you the world's smallest little elf ever so I purchased this little guy off of Amazon I'm probably gonna go ahead and cut that tag off I want to tell you that um, his head swivels his arms move his legs move but he can only stand or sit um, and not to worry any and all links will be down in the description for you guys below so you can know where to find these little guys and create your own fun little topper so at one point I thought I was recording, but I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the bucket, which is what I started with and filling it up with ice. So I initially just poured some of the resin into the bucket, drop the ice little by little. As I wanted everything from the bottom to the top to be as cured as possible, as well as sealed with the UV resin and the UV light from counterculture DIY. So here I'm just finishing off. As you can see, I also went ahead and added my elf beers, um, but I think you guys get the idea. So I just filled it up so I could put the ice in there. So after each little step, I continue to cure it underneath the lamp.
So for the bucket, I want to attach it by filling up that section underneath the bucket full, basically, because I really want, as I apply each little thing to this coaster, I need the UV resin to basically kind of squeeze out of the sides. I'm going to hold it into place as I bring the UV light over and get it to cure. So I've already put some fake ice. I don't know if you can see that, but I put some fake ice surrounding the bucket to make it look like some fell out. I also went ahead and adhered his mug. So now it's time to go ahead and get him into place. So all I did was I did put a little extra down the whole side of the body that I wanted to lay down. Again, getting some of that UV resin to squeeze out from him in order to make sure he's going to stay. This is, this is the literally the cutest thing ever. I absolutely love it. He's in mischief. He's a bad elf. I'm um, caught in the act. Um, super cute. You guys can do this in a thousands of different ways and incorporate it into your tumbler. So my decal actually says this tumbler is under surveillance. It's under elf surveillance. But the funny thing is, is I think he needs to be under surveillance, <laughs> but just a fun, fun, totally different off the wall type of tumbler uh, topper I decided to do. Yes, his head moves, his one arm moves, his um, top leg does move. Um, and this is removable. Super, super, super cute. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to find me on TikTok at Rebecca Escott, Facebook at Everything Tumblr Tutorials for continued learning. Remember, all links will be in the description for you guys below. Also, please let me know down in the comments, what did you think of this tumbler? Is the topper off the charts? Is it super cute? Will you be making one? And if so, tag me wherever you place this on Facebook, TikTok. I really want to see what you guys come up with.